What's going on? It's Bullet Kid. I don't know if I could actually call this a gig vlog because I'm going to my choir practice, but let's call it a gig vlog. Uh, this is going to be the first time that I'm going to be playing my uh, Talman bass out in public, you know? By the time you see this, no, I'm not going to release it yet. So this will probably be the first time you hear it in a live setting. And then I'll come with a video where I did direct audio uh, a little bit later. So, yeah. Um, it should be something, man. Uh, the bass itself is a monster. It's a savage. Like, I love it. It's, man, I like it so much I can almost sell my other PJ bass. Almost. 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 They all offer something different. And uh, the different thing with this bass is the pickup splitting. Like, you can get two different, that's two different basses right there. Like, just the pickup splitting. So, anyway, uh, you'll be hearing that coming up. Hopefully, I got some good songs we got to play and uh, get this thing popping off. So, that'll be the next thing y'all see coming up. Thank you. 
So, you heard the bass live. I unboxed the bass, put that video up, and then I went to choir practice. Had to play this bass first. I put up my Marcus Miller. I put this bass up there with... This is better than any starter bass pack that you can ever buy. Cost me $300. I bought it from Zounds.com. That's Z Z O U N D S dot com. They're not paying me for this. I put it on a payment plan so I can take care of it whenever I feel is necessary. I ain't got to worry about it. Um, I enjoyed it. Like, it felt right. I didn't even have to set it up. Like, the strings are a little bit high for my normal playing, but. It felt so right how it came out of the box that I didn't even think about messing with it. So if this is this, I wish I could have started with a bass like this because I probably wouldn't have the collection I do now. Because if all if this is all I knew, then I wouldn't want anything else. I feel like maybe, probably not because that's not my personality. But that's neither here nor there. So, um. 
yeah it's a it's a dope bass like it sounded good and i did a whole bunch of different sounds different tone settings and everything sounded phenomenal like it sounded great i do have to say that that groove that you just heard was not practice it was literally me wanting to play some funk music chris the cat that's on the lead guitar he was like hey i'm gonna get on the drums and then the uh, guy that you heard speaking about the <laughs> the girl eating in the church, uh, he heard me playing. And he was like, yeah, let's do a groove real quick. And he just hopped on the keyboard. None of that stuff was rehearsed. That was off the cuff. And uh, yeah, we were even talking about it at the end. Like, it just felt right. Like, it felt good. Like, this is a good bass. Like, this is a good workhorse bass. If you got $300 and you want to buy a real good bass that gives you a lot to work with, Ibanez Talman. I got the 310. They got the 100. I think that's, uh, I think it's a TMB 30. And I think they go for 179. And I think as you go up, the price increases. So like mine costs 299. And it's active. I don't know if the TMB30 or the TMB100 is um, active or not. But I love my bass. Like, that's... I couldn't have done better. Like, I like it. I would even put it in there with the Sire V3. I put it in there with that. Like, that jazz bass is bad. I don't own it. Yet. But I will. I will. Stay tuned. Um, but it's bad. It's bad. So this is a great addition to my collection. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I know a lot of people were like, I can't wait to hear this bass out in public. Yeah, it doesn't disappoint. So um, like subscribe comment tell me what you think i think it sounds good but you may not you may not like it you know just let me know anyway this is bullet the kid y'all be easy peace